and there's a fight going on and, and, and it seems as though it's physical and, and it seems like all the news media, CBS and ABC, that they're fighting and it, it would seem like that, that, that there's a, a cultural war, one culture against another culture and one skin tone against another skin tone. And I want you to understand that the mantle of God is about to fall on this generation. I want you to hear me prophetically uh, that there's an anointing coming like the church has never seen uh, that's about to fall on this generation. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, he's looking for a church uh, that is still holding the plow. There's some things you cannot explain. I can't explain to you how a, a, a God a, a took off deity and stepped into humanity and hung on a cross, but on the third day he got up. I can tell you about it, but I cannot explain it. I, I can't tell you how the spirit of the living God will embody a, an individual a, a, of, a, of, of a fallen nature. But once you repent and have received Christ, I can't tell you how he embodies you and gives you a heavenly language. There are some things that I cannot tell you and explain to you didactically and explain to you in a mathematical formula, but I can preach to you and testify about it, uh, that I can tell you uh, that he's a God that saves. Uh, I can tell you he's a God that redeems. Uh, I can tell you he's a God uh, that'll fill you with a baptism uh, of the Holy Spirit uh, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Uh, I can tell you uh, that he's a God that heals. Uh, I can't explain it. Uh, I can tell you he's a God uh, that will be there when you have your foot uh, at your loved one's casket. Uh, I can't tell you how he does it. Uh, there's some things uh, that you cannot explain. Uh, you've got to let the anointing uh, do the talking. Uh, I believe when we let the anointing uh, do the talking one more time and you keep holding the plow breaking the ground and sowing the seed that when the anointing comes in it will make the difference you can't let go of the plow until God drops the mantle because it's going to leave you in the season with no anointing and no ability to make a living 